Hello, Internet. This is the root. I am at the mall. I'm just basically waiting for my cat's spay neuter session to end by around 4 4 30. I'm assuming by 4 30 because that's when I got the cause I got the cat at around 10. And I just I don't know what to do right now. There's literally nothing to do in this small mall. But the most entertaining thing is I encountered a fake charity scammer. Asking for cash donations in the mall. I turned him on Tim Hortons twice. I called her out. She used the universal symbol of you're crazy, which is slang, term, and derogatory towards anyone with a mental illness. But of course, I do not have a mental illness. So, and then she scrammed. I haven't seen her since. I'm just walking up and down the mall because my legs started, my butt started getting tired, so I had to get up and walk. Because I don't want to basically sit for too long because it doesn't feel right. I've done it before. Got agitated, restless, and the whole shebang. And I don't like to uh, be in that kind of state because it doesn't feel good for my body. If you know what I mean. You sit down for too long without getting up or walking around, it's going to bother you. And you need to stretch your muscles and all that. And physical activity is actually a very good thing. So. For the last three or four hours, I'd say three hours, I was listening to chip tunes. Actually, from 10 to around 1 o'clock, I was listening to chip tunes completely. And uh, I was. It was rather nice. I enjoyed it. Most times, uh, I'd be listening to many other things like community radio, but I wanted to uh, have a change. So that's what I did. And, uh,. Right now, well, I'm just, I've been in the mall for a reason, it's cold, and I took public transit to get up here, because the thing was, I was not about to bring my cat in the bike and have him subjected to freezing cold wind, if you know what I mean, it gets really, really cold, and the wind chill, I don't, and all that noisy traffic, I don't want to petrify or scare my cat, if you know. And don't want to subject him to the loud noises and that that are good on the street if you pass by a vehicle or you have a vehicle pass you all the time. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, if I do catch the scammer, I'm going to try to get a video of the lady. But I highly doubt it because she's probably already fucked off and got in her car. So, <laughs> they only go by car, and if I, I don't know if security would be around, because I haven't seen them at all, but if they did catch her, I would ask them to, if they can, legally, keep her under custody until the police got here, and then basically the police would end up uh, taking her and charging her with fraud and breach of trust out of the Criminal Code of Canada. Because that's basically what it is. When you're defrauding somebody, you go to fake charity and guilting them into donating you money. That's a breach of trust and that's illegal. I've read the Criminal Code of Canada. It's just I cannot recite that specific section, but you know what I mean. So, that's what I did. <coughs> I called her out in the Tim Hortons, and she walked away, she turned to the left, and I have, she probably went through a store, and then went out the exit, but I'm just casually walking through, and if I do spot her, well, I'll get her on video, and I doubt I'm going to spot her right out of the blue, I can't remember the bag she was carrying, a folded piece of laminated paper she was holding, and she had a little, uh, pouch, a zip, thin zipper pouch you could put a CD or papers in. It's commonly you see those around. So, I don't think I'm going to spot her and I don't really give a fuck. So, yeah. Oh well. She's gone. I'm glad people won't get defrauded. She's probably going to another plaza to defraud people and scam them. Ah, lovely security crew just walked past me. So, uh, <laughs> Oh well, they might have caught her anyway and told her to get lost. If I was security, I would have basically waited until police arrived and handed her over to them. 
so whatever. For some people, they think she's just a panhandler. But no, no, no. I've encountered her before. Or at least one of her teammates. And it's hilarious. But anyways, I'm probably going to get something to eat. And then that shall pass the time. And then finally get my cat at 430 and then head home. Because well, that's the mall that's got plenty of technology stores so I can actually hunker down on the computer. I don't like to stay here very long. That's just how I am. And they didn't bring my laptop with me. I could have. I could have just plugged it in. If the battery got low and used it. I would have been much better. But I didn't. And that blows. Anyways. That's about all. I'm going to cut this video short. Because I wanted to get something neat and my left arm is killing me and is fatigued from carrying this rather heavy jacket. Which I made every opportunity to be as light as possible with taking everything but the gloves and the woolly hat out of the pockets. So. Ah, security number five. They're watching out for I bet. They probably spotted out on the cameras and you know the rest. <laughs> Alright, that's about all. Peace, thank you for watching. And if the camera got a bit too close at times, it's because the headset was being snagged by a coat. And I don't intend that to happen all the time. Anyways, or the volume, whatever, you know. Not perfect. Anyways, cheers.